Hey guys, Miss Fiction here. Today we are taking a look at some of the cards from the first set of the Digimon card game that I believe are still relevant in the current meta. These cards can still be used to great effect in a variety of decks. So, let's get started. First up, we have War Greymon. This card has a powerful ability that allows it to shut down your opponent's option cards in their security. As a red card and part of the popular Greymon archetype, it has resources to quickly delete a lot of security. And with new support constantly being released for it, this card will only continue to get better. Next up is Gabumon. This card is versatile and can be played either to digivolve and draw a card or just hard played to draw a card. Blue has a lot of effects that play their digivolution sources, so even if you choose to digivolve into Gabumon, you'll still have opportunities to use its on play effect. As part of the Garurumon archetype, this card will continue to receive support. It can also have its place in decks like Examon and Imperial Dramon. And we have his alt art, which is pretty cool looking. I like this little red dude right here. Super cute. Patamon is a, another card that still has its place in the meta. It's a powerful searcher that lets you grab every yellow tamer you reveal. Yellow has historically relied on powerful tamers, and Patamon is especially useful in decks like Security Control, Yellow Hybrid, and Shine Greymon. Here's its alt art. Super cute. It's a weird looking bird thing. <laughs> anyway, Magna and Jamon is one of the best cards in the set. It's been used and abused since its release, and many decks from Security Control, Mega Zoo, and Mastamon have found great success with this card. It's essentially Holy Wave, but as a Digimon. It's a very powerful and popular card. I love this one. Tai is a tamer that will never die. It's a memory setter and gives your stacks security plus one, making it a powerful card that's still used in a variety of decks. You can simply put this card in your red deck to give your stacks a powerful boost. And here's his alt art. Pretty cool looking. TK is another great tamer from the set. Just being able to look at your security is powerful, but being able to take any card, and if you take a yellow card, you get to recover. It's incredibly useful. It also triggers any effects related to security, like Mimi and Kari, making it a very powerful card. And here's his alt art. It's very cute. All right, Mimi is a tamer that continues to remain relevant with each new green support. She can also be useful in decks like Imperial Dramon and Examon, as well as other archetypes that can use her. She can set you up for your next turn, bringing an extra body to potentially swing for game. Plus, she's a memory setter. She's just a solid and powerful tamer. I like her. All right, next up we have Gravity Crush. Gravity Crush is an interesting one. It was ignored for a long time, but now it's starting to get attention, especially in Japan. It's a card that literally wins you games, as two memory can mean the difference between winning and losing. Its purpose is to give you that extra boost you need to win that turn. With the right deck, like Crossheart, this card can be incredibly powerful. All right, next up we have Holy Wave. I love this card. Holy Wave is another great card. Six memory to recover is a great deal. And being able to recover from the security is very powerful. And just like TK, it also triggers any effects related to security, like Mimi and Kari. This card makes decks like security control more annoying and frustrating to deal with. It's just a simple and powerful card. I always have fun with this one. And here's its alt art. Very cool looking. Alright, lastly we have Metal Greymon. This card has a great inheritance that's only getting more use as Machine Dramon gets more support. It didn't have a place when it first came out, but it's found its niche in a deck that's only getting better. With the right support, it has the potential to be incredibly powerful. So, those are some of the cards I believe are still relevant from the first set of the Digimon card game. What did you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and let me know of any other cards in BT1 that you believe are still relevant today.
So, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and don't want to miss out on future uploads. Hope you're having a great time and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!